But the exposure of Westerners to Sikhs has also produced one of the most unexpected events in Sikhism in recent years, a movement of white Sikh converts based in the United States. Inhale. Hold the breath and slowly bring your hands overhead until the thumb tips meet. Exhale and set yourself now for victory pose. Arms straight out for balance. Legs up at an angle and your body in a V. Look straight ahead this time. Focus on your big toe and do breath and fire powerfully, rapidly. The first thing that really drew me to Sikhism was the idea that, that God is within, not without. I'd always kind of pictured God from my mother and, and other influences as this great white-haired man sitting on top of a cloud just waiting for me to come up at the end of my life. and. I'd never had that personal experience, but I'd also always felt, even as a small child, that it was more of what was inside of me that was more important. Sikhism was the one of the first religions that I found that that really believed as I did that God was God is within me and it's within everyone around me, and to recognize that in everyone and not be judgmental in that. Once plain Jeffrey Scott Anderson, Jay Qatar began his spiritual search as a U.S. Army sergeant during the Panama invasion. I had bullets flying by my head and kind of dodging cars and trying to enter buildings and things like that and, and people getting shot and it suddenly made me realize that I could, I could actually die. I'm only 23 years old but I could actually die and so I started really after that experience trying to find out what it was that I believed in. What happens when I die? You know, where do I go from here and how does that affect how I live now? Jay Qatar was introduced to Sikhism through the Healthy, Happy, Holy Organization, or 3HO, founded in America in the late 60s by Harbhajan Singh Khalsa, also known to his followers as Yogi Bhajan. The core principle of this teaching is to give people experience and deep understanding which they can feel that there is a higher life, higher self, and higher excellence in them. We can't say this is right or this is wrong. All we are saying, all is right, where you can get the experience. And if we can provide them practical living experience, my tradition tells me and commands me to one thing, let no person go spiritually hungry. And if he's a Christian, God bless him. If he's a Jew, God bless him. And if he's a Hindu, God bless him. If he's a Sikh, God bless him. My parents reacted to me converting to Sikhism actually with a lot of grace. My mother has always been very supportive of, of who I am, but she's also always had a very big fear of, of cults growing up. And so her first, her first question to me was, after a long period of silence, was, well, will they let you out? when you want to get out and I was like yes mom they'll you know we I'm not being held against my will here and not being brainwashed and she started asking me questions well you know do you what do you believe how do you believe about God and it's like well I, I believe this and this and she's like well I, I believe that and so why do you wear a turban well I do it for this reason well I believe in that so she started seeing the similarities between how she thought and I really told her I said mom you know, you've, without even knowing about it, you've raised me to be a Sikh all my life. And the truth is, as a good friend of mine put very well, that I have been a Sikh all of my life. I just didn't realize that there was actually a religion or a word for it. Jay Qatar now runs a security firm in New Mexico along with other Sikh converts. And what you may find out is that they think they need, they're worried about somebody breaking into their place, but what their real their real liability is, is their computer security. If we're packaging that, 99% of the time I get an incredible positive reaction from people. All of a sudden they realize that I'm not here to convert them into Sikhism and I'm a normal person. They start asking questions if they've never heard about Sikhism before. Or they, you know, I had a Sikh friend back in, in college as a matter of fact. And so, it's, it, to me it's a bridge. Uh, for people to 
to really escape from their comfort zone and expand their horizons and start to look at more of their environment around them. The security firm is one of several businesses and welfare projects run by the Sikhs from their main community in Española, New Mexico, founded by Yogi Bhajan in 1970. I went all over the world. I feel God lives everywhere, but his postbus address is Española. The weather, the height of this place, uh, the people, and it is just like our Punjab, you know, here you do not feel that you live out of Punjab. It's just a village of Punjab. What I found in the community here in Espanola was were more of the tools and the support systems that I, that I really felt were beneficial for me on, on my path. The, the community allowed more of a feeling of comfort instead of separation from my environment. The access to my teacher the access to Yogi Bhajan was very important to me. You always use it, so-and-so is dumb. This is a dumb condition. What do you mean by that? What is the purpose of communication? What is the purpose of talking? If people love me for my wisdom, wisdom is the way, and if they hate me for my foolishness, they have every right. But it's not a setup. I'm not, I'm His Holiness, Sri Singh Sahib, Pai Sahib, or Bhajan Singh Khalsa Yogi Ji. But I'm not His Holiness in the sense that my word is final, or my advice is final, or my opinion is final. Every opinion must have objection. Objection, opinion is meted out. And truthful, truthfully, I want these people to challenge things so that they can learn and become learned, and tomorrow you can face the world at their own. Because I am there yesterday, and they are my tomorrow. Sikhism has never been a, a missionary faith. It's never gone out there to, to actively find converts. So when Yogi Bhajan started converting Californians to the Sikh faith in the early 70s, I think it had a really uncomfortable fit with the wider Sikh community. What's very interesting about them though, and what's very refreshing about them as a, them as a people, is that they don't have the, the Punjabi or the very Indian hang-ups that, that um, Sikhs, the wider Sikh community actually has. So they bring quite a refreshing and, and, and crisp notion of what Sikh belief actually is. And I think we can learn quite a lot from that. <laughs>